Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Being the Odds. It is Tuesday, April 4th, 2023, and we are back with our NBA best bets of the day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Zach, and welcome to Being the Odds. Hit that subscribe button, like this video, hit the notification bell so you never miss a pick. We post NBA videos every single day, along with the NHL and MLB. Um, we're also bringing back college football in the NFL in August, and we just finished up college basketball here after last night. Cash UConn, by the way, plus 380. Uh, we're going after our first 5,000 subscribers, so I'm really excited to have you all here. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. So first off, to recap yesterday's, uh, on Sunday's results, excuse me, we had no games on Monday. But to recap Sunday's results, we went two and two, but overall profit wise, we got a dub. So our best bet of the day, uh, which is the Bucks minus four and a half, easy winner, never a doubt. Uh, we added on the Bulls plus one, that was a winner, hell of a fin hell, hell of a win there. I'll uh, be the Nuggets minus two and a half, fraud team. How do you up by fifteen points with five minutes left for the second or like second time I bet them in a row and somehow push or not cover? The fact that they didn't cover against Golden State, even with Jokic out, is one of the most embarrassing things I've ever seen in my entire life. This team has absolutely no ability to finish games. They have no killer instinct whatsoever. They should put this thing down. The equivalent of what they would do is if they were to go hunting, they would shoot a deer sixteen times in the leg and just hope to God it dies versus just putting one in its head. It's absolutely ridiculous. The Nuggets are absolute trash. They're going to lose in the first round. I don't even know who they're going to play, but I have a feeling they're going to lose in the first round and, and listen comment send me, tell me in the comments below it would be more surprising if the nuggets were losing the first round or win the championship what would surprise you more i think it would be in the first round whatever i'm not i'm pissed about it next the hawks minus three and a half they're another fraud team they should have absolutely smoked the mavericks they let them come back at the end tough game there so overall we're 237 and 187 for the year in the nba we had a winning day money wise but those two games really stuck in my craw because we absolutely should have won those we have three picks going today in the nba we might be adding more check my twitter for that and for those guys who remember you'll obviously get texted way before it goes on twitter so first off i'll start with our favorite bet of the day my best bet is going to be the uh, 76ers minus two and a half Buy low, sell high. That's how you make a lot of money in the stock market. It's how you earn a lot of money gambling if you do it right. You cannot buy a team much lower than the Sixers after getting publicly executed by Milwaukee. Now, for those guys who saw my Sunday video, that's the exact same intro I gave to Milwaukee when they played against Philly on Sunday. What happened? Milwaukee came out and smoked them. And here's the thing. This is the same thing's going to happen today, except the Sixers are going to do that to Boston. First off, the Sixers match up very, very well with this Boston team especially if Jalen Brown does not play. Right now, his list is questionable. This close to the playoffs, I bet they'll rest him. I bet they'll rest him. So I like that. First off, so I like Jalen Brown not playing. It's a big deal for the Sixers. That means they really only have one serious scoring threat, which is Jason Tatum, and they could put Tobias Harris. They could put P.J. Tucker on him and, like, switch guys there versus having to, like, split their energy and time between, him, between J Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. So I like that. Secondly, Embiid is incredible. He is an absolute, and he, he's not, in my opinion, I think Giannis is probably the MVP, but at the same time, Embiid is absolutely incredible. Robert Williams is actually a decent matchup for him, but I mean, defensively, he's not going to have to work that much because Robert Williams doesn't really have much of an offensive game. A fantastic defensive player, but not much offensive game. Um, Tobias Harris is very underrated, plus Philly is fully healthy with great depth. They only have anyone in the injury report today uh, as of right this moment. So I like the Sixers here to win. I think, I'm not sure if it's going to be like a blowout per se, like it was um, for Milwaukee. However, I really, really like the Sixers here to cover this spread, win by five to seven points. Um, so I'm, I'm rolling with the Sixers here minus two and a half, especially with Jalen Brown out. Secondly, I got the Pelicans minus three and a half versus Sixers uh, versus the Kings. Excuse me. I love the Pelicans here. I absolutely love them. The public is smashing the Kings right now. The Sharps are all over the Pelicans, and so am I. This feels like a trap game for Sacramento. This really does. The Pelicans are fully healthy minus Zion, but they're always out. But Zion's never healthy, so it's like they're they're fully healthy here. Uh, they've been on fire as of late. We've been riding the Pelican wave. Um, and we've been winning a lot with them. And I'll tell you this right now is that the Pelicans are a more desperate team than the Kings are. The Kings are basically locked in the three seed. They can't really go higher. They can't really go lower. And to me, the Pelicans can get up to the six seed if, if ever if, if some things break their way and they keep winning. They can also they also follow the plan. <laughs> like so, the thing is the Pelicans. Pelicans have more to play for. The Pelicans are a better defensive team than the Kings. Offensively, they can keep up. They're playing at home and they're fully healthy. So I really like the Pelicans here, minus three and a half. Plus, this line makes absolutely no sense. It's one of those ones where, you, where you, it's so weird that I love it. Like, I, like normally, I would think the Kings actually be favored, even though they're going to New Orleans. I like New Orleans here to win this game by more than four. I'm rolling with the Pelicans here. I think this game will be tight. I think this game will be a sweaty bet, but I like the Pelicans here uh, to take a dub. 
Next, we have the T uh, Timberwolves money line versus Brooklyn. Uh, th this line, by the way, since I've sent the text to the members, has already gone from plus one and a half to T Wolves to minus one and a half to the T Wolves. Mm -hmm. And the T Wolves are going to come out today like a bat out of hell. I have them on the money line here. Um, and after losing their last two games, that they 100% should have won. The Lakers game was a debacle. They're up by 10, 13 at one point in the third quarter, ended up losing by 15. Absolute debacle. When Anthony Davis is ro rolling around, they got shot in the leg. I mean, he got shot in the leg uh, for like three minutes. They somehow scored like four, four, like six straight points, the Lakers did. Uh, they also lost to a Blazers team that they were 19-point favorites in. That That is unacceptable <laughs> if, you're the, if you're the Timberwolves. And against Brooklyn, Brooklyn is a declining team. Uh, they don't really have a game. They don't really have a team that fits together. I mean, they're all a bunch of three and D guys plus Spencer Dinwiddie and Nick Claxton. They have some talent, but I think the Timberwolves here just went out right. They're going to bounce back after two really bad games. They have to win to stay in the play-in race. Uh, I think Anthony Edwards is going to come out and absolutely dominate this game. Cat may or may not play, but honestly, it's it's not really like it affects very much anyway. Uh, Gobert can match up well with Claxton. Obviously, they're they're basically two sides of the same coin. And Mike Conley is an incredibly smart point guard that's going to be able to get Pete guys easy shots. The one thing I am worried about, Nas Reed is obviously out for a while, so that's a bit of a problem. But I like the Timberwolves here, money line minus, I think right now, I think right now, right now everyone's minus 118, minus 115, something like that. So I'm rolling with the Timberwolves here. Uh, now, like I said, we might be adding some more games later. For those guys who are members, you'll get texted. For those guys who are not, check my Twitter for my Twitter. Check my Twitter for updates. My Twitter is in the description below. And if we make you guys money, the NBA and all the other sports, um, consider becoming a member at zdmbets.com slash picks. Um, we, the, the link, I mean, the website is linked in the uh, comments below. As a member, you support the channel, but more importantly, you get our picks early. That way you can take advantage of line movements and odd movements. Odd movements are especially important, especially in baseball. And we've been crushing that and winning big time with that. But also, as a member, you can get exclusive access to me. The number that texts you the picks in the morning, you can reach out to anytime between um, basically before 5 on the weekdays, before noon on the weekends, and you'll get an automatic response from me with what I would do in that game. If you reach out to me after those times, you still probably will get a response, but not 100% guaranteed, but it's about 95% guaranteed. Um, and we also have some more perks for our members coming out in the, in the next coming weeks are gonna be absolutely incredible and I cannot wait to roll those out to y'all. So to recap what we have going right now, we have the Sixers minus two and a half, we have the Pelicans minus three and a half, we have the T-Wolves money line, and we might be adding some more later. So let's go lock in those picks, y'all. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. I will see you all tomorrow. Make sure y'all check out those other videos.